Hi, Christine Tony here with Lilla Rose. Today I wanted to show you a couple of hair hacks with our amazing bobby pins. If you have not seen the Lilla Rose bobby pins, you are missing out. This is just a small collection I'll show you of some of the bobby pins that we have available. Huge variety um, available from really blingy to very simple. Um, we even have some plain with no ornamentation at all. Um, but they are the strongest, sturdiest bobby pins on the market that I've ever um, come across. But today I just wanted to show you a couple quick um, tutorials, just some quick what I call hair hacks. And just here's a couple more up close, that ones that haven't even made it to my board yet. I'm kind of favoring the rose gold, as you can tell. Um, but I just got these in. So I'm going to demonstrate the first one. What you're going to do, these are very strong, so when you, you want to put your thumb to even begin to open them up, you're going to put your thumb on this part, hold the decorative part down. You don't want to hold just the decorative part on the end, but hold that there. You're going to bend it up, stick your finger in to open it up, and it is going to want to close on you. But to start with this one, we are going to do it upside down. So I did the same thing, put my thumb in there, and I'm going to hold it open. Then I'm going to take a little bit of my hair, and I'm going to stick the bobby pin in part way. Okay, can you see that? Upside down. Then I'm going to flip it over, kind of keeping contact with my, my head, and then I'm going to angle it toward that twist. Okay, so now you can see the bobby pin, but not the actual pin part, just the decorative part. This is great for pulling just a little bit back. You can do the same thing and pull it low. Okay, you start with it upside down, flip it over, and come back. To take these out, I want to demonstrate, you're going to find the end of the bobby with your thumb, take your two fingers at the top, and squeeze that hair down that opens up the clip. Okay, then pull it out, and you still, because they're so strong and sturdy, you still probably want to put your fingernail in there so that you don't catch any hair on the way out. Okay, so that's the bobby, that to hide the bobby pin, you kind of flip it over. The other thing I want to show you, and I'm going to show you that with our new arrow bobby pins. Um, and that if you can kind of tell that it's got the arrow decorative part down on top there too. So I want this part to show this time. Okay, and what I'm going to do is a ponytail with no elastics. Okay, so I'm going to pull my hair into a ponytail. I'm going to take, and for this one I'm going to keep it kind of low. You can go high if you like, but I'm going to keep it low. I'm going to take a section of hair out, okay, and pull that out. See, and then I'm going to wrap it around. Make sure I'm still in the picture. That ponytail, okay? Still have that hair, wrapping it around. I'm going to leave it there in the bottom. So you can see the band of hair. That becomes your ponytail holder, so to speak. Now, this becomes tricky one-handed because they are so strong. But I'm going to open up that bobby and then I'm going to slide it along that ponytail band. Okay, make sure I got the hair out over it. Okay, and that's going to hold my pony. And because I like a little extra bling, I'm going to take the second one and I'm going to come at it from underneath. Now, a lot of times I'll go down the same direction, but since they're arrows, I kind of want to have them going both directions. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to open that up, find the, the band, and just slide that along the hair. So that, I kind of angle them up. I might need to check a mirror to make sure they're straight. But that becomes my pony that will hold it all day long, extremely comfortably. And at the end of the day, I will not have a hair ache um, because it hasn't been pulling on my scalp all day. Okay, very simple, very easy. Hope you like these hair hacks. If you do, give the video a like. Feel free to share it, and don't forget to subscribe to see all the next videos that I'll be doing um, with each of our different products. Talk to you later. Bye.